what is going on guys and today we're going to be working with 2013 Volkswagen CC which is the R line basically we're going to be working with the engine which is TSI 2.0 uh, turbocharged the main thing for today it's going to be the injectors uh, it's a OEM part those guys looks like that guys, today we're going to be working with the extra pair of hands which is the owner of the car and uh, he also owned the channel which is uh, white code media and he's doing pretty cool stuff in there basically web developing and uh, some other cool things so you can check it out if uh, you're interested in uh, IT or you want to do your own website and some other tricks anyway I'll get the link in the description below uh, you can follow the link and uh, check it out what he's doing on his channel but let's, let's proceed to the job not many things we have to do first removing the cover which is got a couple rubber clamps in there off sensor also, the battery case, uh, we definitely need to remove at least the uh, native uh, clamp for the batteries. Also, we're gonna need to remove a couple more things before we get started. Uh, all those uh, lines here, gotta be undo, undone, and basically flip it up. Um, some other connectors, and most likely you're not going to mess it up with anything because every single connector have their own uh, kind of path. <laughs> so, it's just no way you're going to mess it up. And uh, yeah, just start doing it. all those clamps, all those connectors. Get yourself a pair of pliers. Remove some clamps. Sometimes uh, you might want to have uh, something different than just a uh, OEM clamp. To work freely with that area, we're gonna need to remove the airbus. Which is, we have joint clamp going into the turbocharger. We just slide it back. And be careful because that thing is pretty tough. Just connecting the line, unscrewing one screw from the uh, front or near the battery, which is the T40. Also, we have a little rubber tight plug, which is uh, holding the whole, whole assembly down here. And uh, simply trying to not to damage anything. And by twisting and angling, removing the airbox. And uh, next step, after we remove all those wires here, the next step is going to be undo the throttle body, which is the short, which is. The other way to remove it, you can get dismount the intake manifold and basically remove it the easy way. I mean, who knows, but you do this. Uh, uh. So now simply uh, disconnecting the lines, screwing the little screw here, there, over here. The next one going to be disconnecting the line from the PCB or the CCB. Yeah. Okay. So for those guys, you, you gotta squeeze it and then pull it out. Just wait a little bit. It's gonna. I mean, it, since it's got a ring, it's got kind of pretty tough to remove it, but if you cannot do anything, use a screwdriver or something like that. The angle tool, just you can stick to the corner, twist it, or something like that. Remove all the lines. Basically, the toughest one was uh, that guy. So also, there is a little screw like that, which is bolted uh, through the intake manifold and holding that line. Uh, it does have tiny uh, fitment for the socket at the top. Also, 10mm thread, which is the threaded nut in there, which is easy to remove. You gotta, you gotta remove both of those guys as well as we have uh, the type of plastic bracket which is hold all those three connectors in there uh, so what i did i bolted first uh, which is 2t30 holding it mounted to the intake manifold and basically you slide out all those connectors and throw it away next step yeah, going to be removing the solenoid okay i already been broken so it is okay the last thing is going to be undoing those i believe yeah it's a uh, t30 okay and we also have a 10 mil which goes to the perimeter one two three and four as well as we're gonna have uh, that line here, which is the electric line, all the connectors to the throttle body and some other stuff going to be on the way. So the connector is going to be on the way to fit it the, uh, how you call it, the extensioner. So you have to unscrew that little plate here at the near the throttle body, then one at the left side of the intake manifold, and then fish that wire down all the way through. And uh, now you have opening for the unscrewing the 10 mil uh, nut. Basically, we have uh, five bolts at the top and uh, four nut at the bottom. We got to do them. The next one is going to be the 15 mil or 16 mil, I can't remember, uh, the same line. So, but before we undo all those bolts here, we're going to need to undo that line here, which is connected to the pump itself. Uh, I think it's 16 mil or something like that. So you got to undo this side all the way. And the next one, it's going to be the 15 mil or 16 mil, I cannot remember, uh, the same line. So this is it, and basically you can reach it uh, through the opening at the bottom, which is right here, and uh, it's easy to work with that area, so don't worry about that. So all the way down there, there is like aluminum bracket, which is mounted to the throttle body, and it goes all the way down and do it. I believe it's T45 something like, or T50, but you definitely have to fish it with your fingers, undo that bolt, and then you're going to be able to actually pull out the intake manifold. Anyway, let's undo all those bolts, undo that gas line, and then bolt at the bottom, and we're going to go through the procedure. Also, we're gonna have a couple connectors and a couple things to disconnect after we're gonna remove all this stuff. We're gonna leave the um, intake manifold and gonna disconnect a couple wires. Basically, uh, we have our bolt out and uh, the mount, uh, it, it calls uh, intake manifold, mount, bolt, or whatever, just to find it. It's gonna be T50. Uh, by some angle, you probably can't see it. Um, I'm gonna, I will try to show it in camera actually. So, you probably can see that stuff. And I already unscrewed that. So, I just wanna show you the angle when I'm using it at the socket. And it's going to be almost straight from the uh, radiator fans. It's got a little angle in there. 
basically something like that it's kind of uh, pretty hard to fish it you definitely have to check from different perspectives and so if you're going to be looking from the front of the car you're going to check uh, the place between the throttle body and the bracket which is a whole bunch of housings like uh, oil lines something like that you're going to move that wire with a bunch of connectors to the side i'm going to be looking straight here i'm going to put some light in there you're going to find that bolt in there this is that bester and it's an m type but t50 gonna fit just fine as far as you can see we can easily move the intake manifold but before that we still have to do one job which is the gas line okay the last step is uh, dismounting the gas line which is we going to release the pressure i'm going to put the microfiber towel at the bottom in there there is a lot of gas to not like expose all this stuff and basically just crank it a little bit undo it the regular threads in there uh, apparently there is no pressure already should be enough the last one going to be just releasing the bottom screw here as well, pretty tight anyway. Okay, so these, let's release it to have any type of moment in there. Also, better to just stick the microfiber towel in there. So we'll get that out. And you know what? Probably going to remove it completely. Simply moving up and down and trying to pull all the setup out. So basically, only thing which is holding the whole assembly is the injectors. I would suggest not to pull too hard. Just be pretty gentle with that. Anyway, I totally forgot about filter. We're gonna need to remove it as well, which is not a big deal. I don't have the proper wrench for it. So we're gonna be pretty gentle because we're gonna be installing that puppy back. From the bottom, we're going to find a couple clamps. I understand English. I understand. You understand, bro? <laughs> Let's see if uh, and they hold in the wire packs and you have to undo that before you're going to pull everything out also we have a connector here which is uh let me undone from the top okay one connector is minus okay anything else just simply check all this stuff okay most of the injectors just stay in place and the last one okay. Okay, uh, the last step, if you got some of them left uh, inside of the engine, just disconnect the connector, it's really easy to do it. Uh, push and play, or how you call it, uh, there is a button in there, you just press it and unplug it. So it's really easy to do that. Also, just make sure you're gonna clean that area before to do anything. I'm gonna use the compressed air, I'm gonna plug that hole with the, the actual the other compressor and I'm going to clean this stuff. I'm gonna spray some uh, degreaser. You don't want any type of dirt here because you, like I said, you can damage uh, that uh, nylon gasket, which is for the installation. You don't have to have anything crazy. Put a little bit of lubrication. <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm kind of spinning on and basically lube it. You can use the water. Uh, it's gonna go much smoother. You're not gonna use any type of lube. Uh, you're not gonna use oil or anything like that. So um, it's not like you cannot, but um, it just you're not gonna harm it with the water or something like that because um, it's meant to hold the fuel, gasoline, and stuff like that. So this is a pretty strong chemical. Basically, you're not gonna damage it. But uh, you gotta be pretty careful with those guys. A little bit up, a little bit, and uh, make sure you're aiming straight into the spot. Uh, don't go too crazy. Don't push it too hard. Uh, just wiggle a little bit. And at some point, you're just gonna go straight in. I'll make sure you're all the way in and proper spot. And do it with the, every single one. Also, I'm not gonna be removing the bracket or so. Uh, as we did remove everything, we're going to install it back same way. In some moments, I'm gonna be uh, putting, for right now, we're simply going to connect the rail, uh, the injector rail. First, second, third, fourth. Um, in some cases, some people are just putting the silicone in there. I'm not suggesting to do that, that's totally like, normal so don't do that but otherwise uh, just make sure you got connect everything you're not gonna jam any of type of wires also i blow everything with the compressed air so there's not supposed to be a lot of dust or any kind of like residue above the level of the oil the valves and stuff like that so just from my perspective i'm kind of safe in that way anyway guys uh, after we connect the injectors remove the caps put a little bit of lubrication make sure those like metal uh, things are sitting just and correct uh i mean in proper way otherwise we're gonna be screwed the next step going to be placing uh, the wiring the harness in the proper way proper position we got that out of the way this one we're gonna fish it through the intake manifold it's gonna go up, uh, which comes from the sensor as well. That uh, that connector is going to go to the sensor, the pressure sensor. I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication to the O-rings. I just want it to be everything as smooth as possible. So first, what I'm doing is placing the bracket on a proper spot. Then the second thing going to be let's put this wire through right now, something like that. I'm going to clamp it somewhere. Then the second wire is going to go straight to our sensor which is, I'm kind of worried about it, but it just clicked, so, I mean, apparently it should, everything should be just fine. Then, let's see what we got down there. Then something else. Then our line, and our bracket. So, let's try to stick the bracket. Then, it's 
going to be something like that. Okay. The next step going to be find the proper spot for those two bolts are sticking out from the lock of the engine. Then the rail. The rail is not painted as well, so you have to check everything from underneath, from under, and we'll see in a second what we got there. Anyway, let's get some more light. Let's get it a little bit up and connect the sensor. Just looking upward. Click. All good there. And then back to all those guys. Okay. I wanted to put all those pieces as they should. Yeah, the line just fine. So, is it time to put a little bit of pressure on it? I think so. I think it just got in in some sort. Okay. And the last thing, not least, uh, the bracket itself. If we have support from the bottom, it's good. We got everything just fine. Just make sure. All right, like I can see, all good. Four bolts, which is, we'll do two at the top and two at the bottom. Okay, don't put a lot of tension, just, as far as that just start, one, it's all good. Let's throw the bottom bolts. You literally can see them from the bottom. First and the second one. Uh, for the second one, I'm going to use that type of thing, which is going to be our magnet. Uh, it's simple, just slide the magnet down, and we're all good. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, we actually did assemble everything and everything seems to be fine. I don't know. I mean, we're going to start the car. The first start is going to be rough. You might going to experience the check engine light. <laughs> start it. Can you press the button? Okay, that's good. Just want to check if anything, if we do have any type of uh, smell, gasoline, or anything. So, just before it going to start, just got to be sure everything just fine. The way it shows. That's good. Okay. Engine is working. Up to me, it's pretty straight. The, my biggest concern is the pressure line. That everything just went fine. Uh, I would say it's pretty steady engine work, so there is no like missing cylinders or anything. And we're gonna take it for a test drive and we'll see what is going on. Then we're gonna check the actual messages on the computer and uh, clear them out. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment below.